Hi everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. It's been quite a while. Hi Benny, how are you? I hope you're not too upset that you have to give away your crown to Pioretta. But I'm not upset because I still have mine. It's not going anywhere. And I still don't know how to put it on right. Probably because it's fucking meant for kids because it's a fucking kids game. But I'm not, I'm a grown ass man and I'm I still like it. So I don't care. I'm not grown up. <laughs> anyway, on to the questions. Uh, let's see. Didn't I grow drastically? I don't really think that I grew that drastically, to be honest with you. I mean, my makeup got a little better, like, especially in the eye area, but I'm still me. I mean, I still have more to do, more to learn, but yeah, that's that. I finally got a dress, so that's something new. Uh, the most important lesson I learned, to make your videos quick because my fucking audition was so fucking long and I'm trying to make this quick. Um, no, I'm just kidding. The most important lesson I learned was that not, not everyone's going to like you, not everyone's going to get you. And that's okay. Everyone has different styles, and I'm not gonna, you know, let it get me down or anything. I appreciate that. Everyone's different. A lot of people liked what I did. A lot of people didn't like what I did. And I liked what I did, and I'm happy. And if I didn't do what made me happy, then I shouldn't be in the first place, because you gotta do what makes you happy. If you listen to what everyone else tells you to do, you're not gonna be dressing up as a woman. <laughs> so, just, I learned that you have to stay true to yourself. And obviously enough, don't let a man control you or decide what you get to do or what you don't get to do and just do yourself. And it took me years to figure that out, but I finally did. So that's that. So thanks, Benny. Cole, I'm so happy that you weren't too busy finger popping Lacey's asshole and had the time to ask me a question. I love you. I really do. You're so cute. She just want to pinch your cheeks. You and Lacey. Oh my God. I love you guys so much. I really do. Anyway, video games and art, and how did I use them as outlets in this competition? Besides week four, I didn't really have a chance to, you know, use video games as, as inspiration. But uh, Zero Suit Samus, Samus is a character who means a lot to me. She's so pretty, and she's such an independent woman, and she's just, I just love the Metroid game so much. So I was so happy to have that challenge, and that I actually have a Zero Suit. I mean... It's a little big. It's a little too big. I'm a little too tall. I overestimated the size. So yeah, there's that. Um, but then the Milotic look and that I won. I'm so happy. You have no idea how happy it was. Thank you guys. It means a lot to me. But um, okay for art. Um, let's see. How did I use them? Just the way like I w approached the contest, the competition. I did it really artistically in my head. Like I, I don't know. Like I want to like look like art each week you know like I want to keep working on a piece of art until I'm finished with it and it's presentable and I'm going to show it off to everyone unfortunately that wasn't the case because I wasn't very ready for this competition as you could tell um the only reason I really joined this competition was because I was told there wasn't going to be a cycle four and then Nicole sent me that letter in Animal Crossing you hope your house is big in Animal Crossing you had no money last time I checked no bells Suck Tom Nook stick. Get some bells. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I forgot what I was saying because I'm really fucking stupid and I really want to say that. Um, okay. Okay. Art. Art is a lot. Art is important to me. Next question. Love you. Um, I don't know. That was kind of like just like a five minute thing that happened when auditions were being posted. But after that, I didn't really get that kind of reaction from people, but whatever. Um, I don't know. I mean, like, I spent a long time trying to make myself look good as a boy, because I used to look really different, but then puberty kicked in, and it was like, BAM, I'm someone else, and I liked it. Uh, but with me and drag, I've only had a little bit amount of time to work on myself, so I'm kind of glad that they appreciated or gave attention to something I worked years at, as opposed to something I worked months for. I mean, I still need a lot of time. But if people want to appreciate me now as in drag then that's great that really is great speaking of people who appreciate me in drag i want to give a little shout out to some of my favorite fans who you know have messaged me and they were like oh you did such a great job I, you should have won or you shouldn't have been in the bottom but you know like i said people have different styles and i don't care that's okay people don't have to like me <laughs> Um, so I want to say thank you to Cunt Queer because you're really amazing and you messaged me. What well, you messaged me the other day, you know, was really nice of you and thank you for letting me publish it. Um, no pants revolution because you're really fucking cute and you, 
you you were rooting for me and I'm sorry that you know I didn't make it as far as you would have liked or I would have liked uh, Fred with a three because you always like my posts of me in drag and you're really cool and I'm pretty sure you're Tumblr famous so get me some followers so uh, yeah that's that thanks okay so first of all I'm just gonna say I do think it was drag now let me say why First of all, I had my boobs drawn, I had nails on, I had heels, I was tucked, I had a dress, I had false eyelashes on, I had two wigs on, I had that crown on, and I had earrings on. And the only thing controversial about it is that it was a skeleton, but last time I checked, girls had skeletons, and this is what? Female impersonation. Ooh. So yeah, that's that. Um, I don't regret doing it. You didn't ask me, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> I don't regret doing it because I it was the first idea that came to my head well not first but I was like oh my god this is perfect and I was so happy doing it and I was so happy with how it looked and that's what matters it made me happy and you know so what some people didn't like it I don't care I liked it some people did like it some people loved it some people were just like oh I don't know what to think so let me just wait for the results and that was like 90% of the people who had a problem with it let's be honest but if I won that challenge People would be like, oh my god, you were so good. It was so pretty. Oh my god, I love it. You, you're you so revolutionary. No, no one would have said that, but whatever. But I mean, like, people approached it differently, you know? I approached it like that. Like, it's a comedy challenge. And I was like, oh, okay, I don't need to be pretty because it's supposed to be funny. But that kind of wasn't really the case. Um, like, look at Daphne. Daphne did, like, the old lady. And good. <laughs> that was funny. Good for her. She didn't, you know, focus on being beautiful, you know? It was funny. I loved it. And we were supposed to do a boy, and Pieretta did a girl for the, you know, the boy dragon. I mean, it was good, right? And you guys liked it. I mean, it's just a different style and different everything. My battery reminder, it's dying. Okay, I've taken up enough of your time. Uh, it's been like a few minutes. Anyway, thank you, everyone, for the support, and... This isn't the last of me, trust me. I know I left too soon. I think I left too soon. But I promise you'll see me soon. Maybe in a school. Maybe not. No, definitely you will. A special thanks to Gemini, to Barbe, for being amazing, being a really good friend, and helping me through everything, and helping me order my clown white that I might use less of next time, and wig advice, and I love you so much. You're my best friend. I love you. Thanks to Lacey and Lady October, my other two really good friends. Congratulations, Pioretta. Your outfits are always amazing. I never got to tell you that. Um, Casavina, you too. Everything was great. And I guess that's it. So until next time, I would say my catch line here, but I really don't like it anymore because that guy was a fucking asshole. So bye. I love you all so much. I love you guys so much. <laughs>